Hey, Shalom Mocking, your brother Kanan back at you with the truth. Start up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who are well and teach well and lead in Israel by great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect. Teaching and preaching is truth, is righteousness, purity, and sincerity. And waiting on Yahweh Shai, whom the world only called Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom, Makia. All right. Um, meditating through the Spirit for what this lesson to be called. You know, speaking with the Spirit as well earlier. All right. And then, you know, the Spirit, Spirit and Power, Yahabah, Shemia, Shai gave me a title. All right. As I was communicating with the Spirit, the Spirit was like, You're going to do a lesson for me. It's going to, it's going to call Yahweh Shai's moving in. Okay. So I just went with the spirit and said, um, we're going to do it. All right. So, and, hey, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right. To the very elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. All right. I don't got my connection on for my, uh, my phone, so I'm going to try to edify as much as I can. All right. Because Yahweh Shai is on his way. Yahweh Shai is on his way. Okay, and this is why the spirit has been so heavy amongst brothers speaking about the uh, our future. Okay, our future of never seeing the grave again. We're never going to see the grave in the future of of uh, of Israel. All right, and and that's what we're looking forward to, man. All right, but Yahweh Shai is on his way. Okay, Yahweh Shai is on the way. And I'm, you know, I'm gonna read the scriptures to set it off. All right. Um, John chapter, book of John chapter one. All right. Verse twenty-nine. We could start at um. We start at verse 27. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latch it, I am not worthy to unloose. All right. And John was doing it, you know, doing what he had to do for the Lord. All right. Yahweh Shemel Shai. But he said that he that coming after him. So we wonder who's that. All right. Because John was uh, set up for the entrance of. Of our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay. So, with John doing what he's doing, all right, on the behalf of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, he, he's setting up that carpet, all right, that carpet of Yahweh Shai to return, basically to wash away the sins of our people. Okay, these things, all right, verse twenty-eight. These things were done in uh, Bethab Bethabara. Beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing, okay, baptizing the people, all right, the nation of Israel, with the knowledge of of uh, Yahweh the Father and Yahweh Shai the Son, all right, <clears throat> washing away their filth. Verse twenty nine. The next day, John seeth Yahweh Shai coming unto him. All right, could you imagine how John reaction when he saw? When he saw Yahweh Shai, he was, his eyes was open and just welcoming it, welcoming his, his the Lord. Okay, just welcoming his cousin. Okay, just welcoming. He was uh, he was in shock. Okay, Yahweh Shai coming unto him and saith, "Behold, the Lamb of Yahweh, which take away the sin of the world." Okay. And now we could we could uh, fast forward today, all right. America is that big sin of the world right now, so we the elect were welcoming Yahweh Shai, all right, to enter in the uh, 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 this wicked, decrepit world, all right, for his grand entrance as an angelic being because he ain't coming back as a, a mere uh, a mere man, all right, a mere deaf body. All right, a mere, all right, graveyard piece. He's coming back as a, a, a elegant, a, a elegant, angelic, 
our majestic peace, all right, the chief angel of the universe, all right, to uh, basically defend the, 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 uh, the nation of Israel, <clears throat> and he's coming with the power of his father, all right, with full glory and, and uh, marvelous power, all right, with uh, that excelling strength, all right, so Yahweh is coming back, all right, to shock and shake the world. Okay. And it says. Um, which take away the sin of the world. So the point is. Behold the lamb. Alright. So when Yahweh shall enter in that. that it will come back with that chariot. That greatest chariot of the universe. Alright. The elect is going to be like. Behold the lamb of Yahweh. Alright. Which is Yahweh shy. You know. It, it's going to be a. A, ter a terrifying sight to see. Because the, earth, the whole earth is going to shake. The, because the gravitation of Yahushai is going to be so powerful that rocks and gravel and buildings, everything is going to come apart. It's just going to uh, gravitate up because of the force that Yahushai is coming with. He's coming with the force of his father. All right. This is he whom I said, verse 30, that the me cometh a man. Which is preferred before me. For he was before me. And he's before the elect. Okay. He's the only begotten. Of Yahweh. Okay. Alright. Verse 31. I knew him not. But that he should be made manifest to Israel. And that. And we'll fast forward today. He's about to be ready to be manifest. Alright. To Israel and the world. But no, nobody knows about our Lord Yahweh Shai. Everybody knows about sweet Jesus Christ, which is not coming back. And that, that image is going to in sl slavery. All right. Uh, that's a that's a, a, a bloodthirsty murderer and a pedophile. All right. That everybody's worshiping right now. All right. And um, therefore, I come baptizing. I am come baptizing with water and John Beer, which is the knowledge. And John bear record saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it bow upon him. And this time he's going to be, that spirit is going to, de going to be descending from heaven on a, on a chariot. All right. With the whole holy host. Okay. Um, All right, let's read Book of John. I mean, Book of Matthew, chapter ten, starting at verse thirty-two. Whosoever therefore conf shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. And what we do today, we constantly make these video confessing uh, uh, to men about Yahweh Shai. All right, but about the works he did, the miracles he did. All right, about. He's the only begotten of Yahweh, all right? That his power, that he's the one and only savior of, of the nation of Israel, okay? That his image is a, is a so-called uh, a Negro, all right? Will he hear, all right? We are confessing before men of Yahweh Shai, who he is, all right? And that, he, that he's coming back, all right, with a majestic power, Okay? <clears throat> All right, and it says, verse 33, but whosoever shall deny me before men, and you got these other camps, all right, they're bugging out, all right, they are, they basically hate the Lord, all right, disrespecting our Lord, trying to put the Lord in a, 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 um, a jigsaw box, all right, making the Lord look like he's, he's from uh, the boondocks or something like that, all right, the Lord, the Lord is not no uh, cartoon character, man, the Lord is true. Okay, the Lord is true. All right. And he's going to come back and deal with you niggas, man. Okay. But who so. And that's why. That's why we just got to move forward in prophecy and uh, forsake these things. Because the Lord is going to deal with them in due time. But we are here to set. We are set up to defend the doctrine. All right. Whoever come against it. All right. Is, is against Yahweh Shai. And we have to defend for, for Yahweh Shai. All right. It says. But whosoever shall deny me before men. Him while. Him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. And you guys are in a lot of trouble. 
all right? Denying Yahweh Shai and his works, all right? Denying the, the, the future of the Israelites, all right? That we're going to... That we're gonna reign and live forever, all right, and, and, uh, and, uh, for, uh, for 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 eternity, okay. We're gonna live eternal, all right. Meaning, we're gonna have infinite amount of lives, all right. Infinite amount of life, okay. Never, never see the grave, all right. Okay, basically, we're gonna be many gods of Yah, many Yahweh Shai's. All right, roaming the earth, roaming the universe. All right, R running the earth and the universe along with our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, begin with the Father Yahweh. Okay, it says, verse 34. All right, Yahweh Shai, as I said, he's coming in, he's moving in. All right, each piece that Esau makes, each bad move that uh, Esau makes, Yahweh Shai moving faster. All right, and Esau, uh, he's playing a bad chess game. All right, and this chess game, he ain't gonna win. All right, because the Lord is about to, uh, 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 the Lord is about to checkmate him. Okay. All right. It says, uh, "Think not that I come to send peace on earth." Everybody think, "Oh, the Lord is gonna come back to rapture the world. Everybody's gonna get saved. Just turn back to Jesus Christ." Nah, man, it got it twisted. Okay, that that figure ain't coming back. That figure is going in the grave and into caps into slavery. All right, all right. And by the way, Jesus, Jesus Christ is back here today. All right, he's at he's at, he's the one of the rock uh the rock trials. Okay, so y'all basically worshiping another man. And that's going to slavery. He come with the false peace. All right, his meta his he come with the meta. All right, the meta lies. All right, the meta lie lion verse. Okay. All right. He comes with the false universe. All right. So, verse thirty-four. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So the hey, Yahweh Shah is moving in. All right. To come with the the uh the sword. All right. With the chariots, the laser beams, and the nuclear missiles. All right. Let me see. Isaiah sixty three, verse two. Let's start at verse one. Who is this that coming from Edom with thy bar with thy garments? All right, from Basra. This is a this is metaphoric. Okay, so the Lord is describing his garments being dyed. What color? All right, that is the that is the glorious in the, his apparel, traveling the greatness of his strength. So his his garments gonna be dyed red because he's gonna do a lot of a uh, uh, a slaying. All right, but basically he's the he's the true demon slayer. Because all these people are demons, okay? So the demon slayer is coming, all right? This is that, this that is glorious in his apparel, all right? Traveling in the greatness of his strength, because he's coming with the strength of his father, all right? Yahweh, all right? He's, gonna, he's coming with a, a, a majestic power, okay? And he's coming with the whole holy host of heaven, all right? It says greatness and his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, because he's come to what? He's gonna mightily save the elect of the nation of Israel. Alright? And this place speak nothing but wickedness. Alright, so he's gonna save us in what? Righteousness. Alright? From from the wicked, which is uh, uh the so called white man. Alright, and two and two thirds of our people. Alright. Wherefore thou Verse two, therefore art thou red in thy empire. We see he described it, and thy garments like him that treaded in the wine fat. All right, so there's gonna be a there's gonna be a great pressing. All right, there's gonna be a great press out in this world. I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I would tread them in my anger. 
All right, the Lord's pissed and trampled them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will st stain all my raiment. All right, hey, that's that that's massive. That's massive death. All right, massive death coming to this planet. All right, the elect. We're gonna be good, but the Lord is about to trample. All right, He's gonna trample on roaches. That's what these people are, unclean spirits. All right, basically they 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 in league with the roaches. Verse four: For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem to come to redeem the elect is come. All right, so the day of vengeance is in the Lord's mind. All right, and the scripture says he's going to come as a travailing woman. All right, let me see. Uh, Isaiah chapter 42 Let's start at verse uh, Verse 12 Let them give glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Shai And declare his praise in the islands And who the islands are? The uh, the, uh, the elect Alright We are the islands that, that's giving praise to the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Shai We give glory unto our power Alright And we Amen we, we do it with all our strength and might Alright As the scriptures would say Yahweh by Shai, verse 13, shall go forth as a mighty man. Okay, mighty. All right. The, the mighty men of today are what? The, uh, the, the the soldiers, the armies. But the Lord is coming as a, a, a chief angel. All right. Which is the highest mighty man in, in the universe. All right. He's going to. Hey, man. It's on. All right. We in for a, a, a terrible, a terrible, terrifying ride. On King Naka. Why is King Naka? Because we're going, we going to heaven. All right? Meaning we're going to the new heavens. All right? We're going to be changed. All right? Decked out. Brand new bodies. This place is done, man. All right? <laughs> we're in the, like the last seconds of America. All right? Yahweh Shema shall, shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea. Roar, he shall prevail against his enemies. All right, so like I said, Yahweh Shah is moving in. All right, who's the Lord's enemies? Begin with the head heathen nation. All right, Esau, Edom, the so called white man. All right, two thirds of our people because they made a covenant with death. Who's death? Esau, the so called white man, and the other nations. Verse 14 I have long time holding my peace, I have been still and refrained myself. Now, all right, now, the, and we in this time period, where the Lord is saying, now, all right, will I cry like a travailing woman? I will destroy and devour at once. And the Lord, when He come back, He's going. Hey, is, the Lord said, one hour, He's going that that, that uh, judgments come. One hour, meaning He's going to make a what? Speedy riddance. Okay. All right. Isaiah 65. Or was it 66? Yeah, 66. All right, book of Isaiah chapter 66. Let's start at um, verse 13. As one who comfort his mother, comfort it. So will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. So the Lord is comforting with these words, these scriptures, with this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Keep, uh, building up our spirits, edifying our spirits, being prepared for, for the time of Yahweh Shai's return. Okay? And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish. And that's like, that's what's happening now. We are rejoicing each day. Alright? Because each day we're, we're a step closer to our Lord, Yahweh Shai's return. Alright? But these words, all right, we eat in a roll. We, uh, uh, it's it's sweet in our mouth, all right, as honey. But it comes becomes bitter because of what's gonna happen on the earth. Bitter because it's gonna be so much death, all right, so much uh, betrayals, so much lies and deception, all right. That's what's gonna happen. So much uh, uh so much wickedness is gonna happen, all right. That's why we need that spirit. 
All right, we need the Holy Spirit to uh, comfort our, our 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 spirits, and your your bones shall flourish like a herb, and the hand of Yahweh Hashem shall, shall be known towards His servant. And we, we, they going everybody's gonna know who's the true men of the Lord in that day. Okay, everybody's gonna know who's the true men of the Lord in that day. Okay, and His indignation what? And His indignation what? His anger, His indignation toward His enemies. All right, and everybody's rebelling against the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, denying Yahweh Shai, the true name of the uh, of the Savior, the true name of the heavenly Father Yahweh Shai. Verse fifteen: Before behold, the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. All right, pure uh, uh, uh the, p nothing but destruction, pure destruction, nothing but fire. All right, fire tornadoes. All right. All right, just a uh, straight judgment, okay? Okay? With his chariots like a whirlwind to render his uh, uh, um, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the, what? The chariot's going to shoot laser beams and uh, 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 there's going to be there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, bombings happening and, and it's going to and the missile's going to come and Man, devour everything else Because the Lord says he's going to put his spirit up on the missiles According to uh, Joel 2 For by fire and by his sword Will Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Plead with all flesh Let's read that again For by fire and by his sword I thought the Lord's coming with peace I thought he's coming with, uh, to pick up everybody Off the earth, man, that's a lie That lying rapture doctrine right? For by fire and by his sword well, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai plead with all flesh who's against the elect. All right, and by and the slain of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai shall be many. So it's an astronomical, galactical kill kills that the Lord is gonna uh, make happen on the earth, man. Okay. I had um. So the Lord, Lord said, Yahusha is going to cry like a travailing woman coming back. All right, he's has whole, long time has holding his peace. Saw too much wickedness. Okay. Um. Second address. Fifty six. Let's start at verse 54. Sorrows are past, and the end is showed, and the treasure of immortality. And that's what and that's what we're waiting for, man. All right? To be uh, uh, never touched into the grave. We are not never, we we're never going to die. All right? We're waiting for the treasures of immortality, which is why we preach this word daily. All right? And go out on, uh, on uh, highways and hedges, cry out like a... a, a as wisdom cry out, all right, in the street concourse, we go out there to go uh, confess before our Lord, all right, about uh, 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 that we want to be changed, we need new bodies, and therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them. All right, and therefore ask no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. It says, for when they had taken liberty, they have despised the most high thought, scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. And that's true. All right. And that's what's going on. You have all these camps. All right. They want to go uh, uh, take the juicy juice, Maxine Waters. All right. And, and uh, be deceived by the serpent. All right. And uh, uh, curse out the Most High. Basically, that's a way of them saying "f the Most High." All right, and the Lord is going to deal with them. That's why the scriptures say, "For um, judgment shall begin at the house of of the Most High." Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, and that's why we we are doing our best of our ability to ask the Lord for mercy and forgiveness. All right, and uh, keep us in the right way. All right, so if we don't take no juicy juice or. Or the the uh, 
the Karagma, the Karagma chip, okay? Um, it says, for when they had taken the liberty, they despised the most high thought scorn of his law, all right, and forsook his ways. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous. And who's the righteous? The elect, the prophets, the men, of, the, the servants of Yahweh Shemashai, the men of the Lord, and said in their heart that there is no power, yea, that knowing they must die. All right, so they don't believe. So what's 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 left? All right, judgment. And then now listen to this, and it says, um, for for as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should not come to naught. All right, meaning we uh, the, uh, we are the, the mercies of Yahweh Shimon Shari stretching out our hand. All right, unto a, a stiff necked and a rebellious house, and they they, they keep uh, slapping the hand. He's slapping the Lord's mercy, and and and, and uh, here he, here it comes. It says, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them, and were unthankful. Unto him which prepared life for them. We, what? We, we showing them life. That we showing them a kingdom of heaven is about to usher in. It. The kingdom of Jerusalem. The kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Alright. We're going to have immortal life. We're going to have abundance of everything. Alright. We're going to have a, a spiritual power. We're going to have multiple women. Alright. Of our choice. Our own uh, uh, dwelling places. Alright. We, we, we're going to be. Uh, we're going to have slaves. We're telling our people that all these goodies is coming to them, but they slapping the uh, the the, the uh, they slapping the life away, and which is Yahweh Shai, they slapping Yahweh Shai away. All right, and therefore my judgment now, therefore what? Therefore is my judgment now at hand. All right, and there we go. All right, the Lord's judgment is at hand, and these things, verse sixty-two, I have not showed unto all men. But unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered I, I and said, Behold, O Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, now hast thou shown me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not shown me. So, meaning, Yahweh Shai doesn't know when he's coming back. It's all in the power of the Father, but we can say that Yahweh Shai is moving in. All right? Um. Give me one moment. All right, give me one moment. Matthew chapter sixteen, verse um. 27 it says for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels and then he shall reward every man according to his works all right verse 28 and then he's going to reward every man according to their work so if there was uh, uh if it was filthy all right they're going to they're going to get judged according to being filthy if it was uh uh, uh um what do you call it unjust you're going to get judged according to that all right, so verse 28, Verily really I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. That's right. All right, the Lord says some of us is not going to taste death. All right, we, we, anyways, if, even if we uh, die, die on this side, we're entering immortality. Okay, we enter in, a, we enter in everlasting rest, regardless of the fact. Okay, so hey, you stay prayed up out there, brothers. We almost out of here. Very, very near. Yahweh Shah is moving, moving in. Okay. Um. Let's get let's get revelation. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and uh, exhorting, because our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to deliver us with a mighty hand. All right. He's going to deliver us with a mighty hand. All right.
Revelation chapter 22, verse 6. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord, Yahweh Shemashav, the holy prophets, who's that? The men of the Lord, all right? Even the uh, uh, the past prophets, okay? Sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. All right, what 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 things are about to be shortly be done? All right, us getting uh, delivered. All right, out of uh, out of this wicked captivity. All right, out of Babylon the Great and, and the, the kingdom of Yahweh being established. Behold, I come quickly. All right, this is Yahweh Shai saying, "Blessed is he that keeps the sayings of the prophecy of this book." And we are about what prophecy? The spirit of Yahweh Shai is what is the spirit of prophecy? Okay. So, hey, man, uh, let's, let's jump down to a verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. It can't get any plainer than that. All right. And behold, verse 12, I come quickly. Yahweh Shai is moving in. And my reward is with me to give every man according to as his work shall be. I am Alpha Omega. He's hey, he's the he's the big dog. He's the big dog. All right. He's the true Alpha. Yahweh I am the Alpha and Omega, and the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they who's the day the elect that do His commandments and that they what may have right to the tree of life. Okay, which is His knowledge, the truth, and may enter in. Entering through the gates into the city, okay, and it, meaning we're going to be entering into the kingdom of heaven, Lord willing, we have that number, all right, because we kept the same to the prophecies of, of this book, okay, and then we could end it. All right. We're going to end it with Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, what time we in? We in the end. That now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Because Yahweh Shai is moving in. He's getting ready to uh, uh, send the, uh, he's sending death threats to Esau. But he's sending a, 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 sick, a message of salvation to the elect. Like, listen, the angels are starting to move in. I'm moving in. Okay, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, the works of, uh, of this dark understanding of this world, of not knowing who we used to be, all right, of, of being Israelites, and now put on the what? And let us put on the armor of light, having the knowledge of the Heavenly Father, knowing that we're Israelites, and knowing that Yahweh Shai, all right, is coming back to deliver the elect if we keep the prophet, if we keep the sayings of this book, keeping the prophecies. Let us walk honestly as in a day, not in rioting and drunk drunkenness. But these people, all right, are drunk, meaning they don't have the knowledge of the Lord, all right, and they're just giving their, their, their arm and giving their soul to the devil, you know, uh, uh, Shatan, okay? Esau, which is which is the counterpart of Shatan, Satan, all right? Let us walk honestly as the, in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, all right? That uh, uh, giving ourselves into to this world, all right, and they're, and they're, and they're disgusting food, all right. This world and the disgusting ways, this world and they're disgusting women, all right. Y'all could keep this world, all right. We look we looking forward to what glory, all right. We looking forward to an everlasting life. We looking for, forward to a, a, a majesty, a, a, a majestic uh, a living, all right. And um, wantonness and not in strife, envying, but ye on on the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. All right, so meaning we don't give into the flesh like how these other camps is given into the flesh. All right, giving their souls over to uh, Satan. All right. Oh, I have one more. Uh, all right. The Lord said he ain't meeting uh, Esau as a man. Give me a moment. All right. 
Isaiah chapter 47, verse, man, I have uh, two more. The, the 47, verse 3, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yet yeah, thy shame shall be seen. The shame of this world, this false philosophy, this uh, 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 deceiving, uh, 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 this uh, decrepit world. Same shall, uh, shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance. I will not meet thee as a man. All right, meaning the Lord cannot meet the, the so called white man as a man because he's too powerful. All right, so he had to meet her as a what angelic force. <clears throat> as for our Redeemer, Yahweh Bashim shall host as his name and the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, uh, no understanding. O daughter of Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms, because the Lord has come to destroy this place. Okay? He's coming to take uh, take down these kings. Alright? He's going to take Esau off the power, seat, power chair. Okay? And... Um, we're going to close it with Zephaniah. Zephaniah 1. <clears throat> Zephaniah chapter 1. Start verse 16. A day of trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities. And against, let's start verse 15. The day is at, is a day of wrath, a day of trouble. Man. And distress of day, wasteness and desolation. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and a thick darkness. A, and then you can read uh, uh, um, at Amos chapter 3 verse 6 It says what um, Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it Alright because that's what's coming Okay and The Lord's going to do a lot of evil in the cities Okay Especially Babylon the Great Alright And it says um, A day of clouds and of thick darkness A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities Against the high towers And I will bring distress upon men and they, see, he's going to bring, uh, all you mighty men are going to be like uh, uh, crying cats. All right. And they that shall walk like blind men, because the, 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 the men of the Lord, the real mighty men is going to be the men of the Lord. All right. And we're going to be like as if, uh, uh, we're going to be as if, uh, what, thundercats. All right. We're going to be a, a, a mighty men. Okay. When the Lord bestow that power upon us, spiritual power. That's coming. In, that's going to come in a live action, soon, sooner than you think. Shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. So the Lord said He's going to make everybody look like shit who's against the elect. All right, meaning He's going to destroy a lot of people, man. Okay, neither their silver nor their gold. You hear that, you rich people? Neither your silver nor your gold. Shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai's wrath. All right, so you could run to your bunkers, you could try to take your, your gold bars. That ain't the Lord don't want none of your money, He's gonna uh, put your ass in captivity. All right, all right, and all you uh, uh lower, lower class people, all right, is gonna get destroyed by fire. All right, but the whole land shall be devoured by His fire, by the fire of His jealousy, for He shall. Make even a speedy riddance of them all them that dwell in the land. So the Lord said, you're going to make a speedy riddance of this world. All right. Of you wicked people. And uh, the spirit is working here. Uh, we're going to end it with uh, Proverbs. Yeah, we're going to end with Proverbs. Let me see. Proverbs, is it 33? Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32. And now therefore hearken, now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, 
For blessed are they that keep my ways, all right, meaning the, 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 the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, following law, statute, commandments to the best of our ability, all right, and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai, all right, hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me and watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. And that's what we're here wait, waiting for, Yahweh Shai to return and pick us up from this wicked place. All right, hey, amen. We almost out of here. We so it's so close. All right, we could almost we, we could almost taste it. All right, so the Lord is coming back with a mighty hand to deliver us from this wicked captivity. And right. stay strong, I came out there, and keep the faith. We almost out of here. So Lord willing, this lesson was edified. Want to end it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who well. And teach well and lead Israel by grace after to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect teaching and preaching his truth, his righteousness, purity, and sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh Shai, whom the world and called Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom, Makim, stay strong in the spirit. We must out here with the salvation of Yahweh Shai. Shalom.